Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4 with this Emperor map. And uh, a couple things I've done since the last part. Really not a lot. Uh, I got enough missionaries out to spread to all my cities. Canada Rail have road next turn. So I just queued up uh, Confucian buildings and uh, all the cities that don't have them yet because they are plus two hammers for me. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've really done. And just like hit end turn once. It's been a pretty quick... Uh, Pretty quick compression of audio, so nothing really happening between recordings of consequence. And just get the religion to my last city, and yeah. And I'm also getting happiness from that now, which is nice. Let's get some farms going. Yeah, I don't really care what the Gaul thinks. He's not, he's not doing anything to me. He's lame and suckage and weak sauce. This sauce is weak. And now that I'm running mass religion everywhere and spamming the buildings, why not build Sankor? I have the stone. Well, you know, maybe someone will beat me to it and then I'll get a lot of money uh, at a 100% multiplier on my hammers because it's you know, from stone. And if I get it, well, it's going to boost my research for a long time. So win-win. Uh, I really can't have any bad come of pursuing that at this point. It's so easy to wall attacks. Now a lot of work, rookies struggle because they don't uh, they don't prepare for war. But yeah, those hill cities when you're seeing trouble, they are golden. Sure, Ragnar, we can open borders again. I'll take a little bit of extra trade route income. And now I'm not going to do representation because I will take democracy with liberalism next turn, and then we are going to troll the AI with emancipation. As well as a bunch of other civics. <laughs> so much better than Rickroll. I say that over and over again, and it's true no matter how many times I say it. I could switch free religion. I can probably gain control of the Apostolic Palace if I don't, though. So, emancipation, free speech, universal suffrage, go! And uh, what now? Probably go for banking? No. Uh, Gunpowder, then replaceable parts, and I will try and trade for banking and guilds. Never mind. Never mind, I keep forgetting. I'm an emperor, and this is slow as I'll get out. Forget what I just said. Here, going straight for banking for stock exchanges is if I don't, I'll never see them. <laughs> Not at this rate. You want you want to talk sensibly yet? No, you you want Newcastle. And you know, the second he gets near me with any actual forces, I'm just gonna pay him a tech to get out of war. <laughs> it's not that hard. Does anyone have any more resources to trade? Ooh, gems. With a forge, that is two happiness. Give me some of that goodness. Yeah, look at that. Happiness taken care of already. And with emancipation, what are you doing? This is a hammer city. Don't don't build cottages in a hammer city, you nublets. Nublet workers. <laughs> And here I thought I was done with the worker micro. Ta um, Statue of Liberty, huh? Why not? I'm going to whore up the wonders a little. <sighs> Have I launched a space race on YouTube yet for, um, for Civ 4? I think that's a valid question right now. Oh, I got beat to it by two turns. Well, get ready for some money, because I'm about to get it. Alrighty. Yeah, not a lot going on now. I mean, this is this game's getting more and more under control. Uh, I'll pick up rifles. Just, you know, the last answer in defense. Or no, I'm going to go astronomy first. Now I'll go for rifles. Astronomy corporation rifles. 
Yes, I, I, I am taunting you by delaying rifling a lot. And it's not going to matter because nobody's near it themselves and they do not get through archers like ever. Or longbows. Very nice. Yeah, whatever. Mass stock exchange. Super banks. They're really not all that great, but they're serviceable. Maybe I'll get a corporation or something. Help me out. And hurry up and finish farming so I can quit microing my workers again. I'm tired of microing my workers. It's too much effort. Screw emancipation. I only want to grow the cottages I've already started. <sighs> Oop, Bismarck has made peace with the Gaul. Sorry, the Apostolic Palace can just force it again as long as I'm at war. Plus, if it's the only resolution, he will keep calling it, which is all the better. <laughs> this is just terrible. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that thing. If I declare on him, I'm just gonna like insta give him so I don't have to put up with it. Is anyone trying for culture? Oh no. Did I just see that properly? Did he just build Sistine Chapel? Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. He did. That that might change everything. I might have to just kill him. Maybe maybe not Montezuma. Montezuma's kinda it's kind of working for my purposes right now, but and the Romans, I, they might need to be kicked off the continent and uh, give me their Sistine Chapel. Unless I can bribe them in the free religion. That's a possibility. That way I don't have to deal with it. Alright, got astronomy. So just more multipliers. What do I need construction for? Engineering? Whatever. Probably just go free market. <laughs> no need for communism or anything like that. Oops, he capitulated to somebody. Oh, Montezuma. He is close to breaking free though, so hopefully he can grow his cities a little bit and then he'll break free. I really don't want to deal with a super Aztec empire. In fact, I'm going to play it a little safe and uh, get heroic epic and start cranking rifles. And actually, this isn't bad. I was the first to uh, what is it? I was the first to economics, so I got a uh, great merchant, and I'm going to hang on to him for a corporation, which will coincide nicely with free market. See, now you don't want Newcastle, do you, De Gaulle? Because you suck. You did what you do best and give up. Ooh. You playing for Dom there, Monty? It's pretty bad, actually. Montezuma's getting kind of out of control. I really wanted to, to just tech up in this game, but if the Aztecs are going to be this much of a problem, I could just red coat them to death. Or go like infantry against <laughs> not rifles. <laughs> infantry against muskets and grenadiers. <laughs> Come on, Monty. <laughs> you know you want to fight with those odds. You know you do. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Corporation for even more trade routes. Up to 750 some beakers a turn now. Declare them and just drop some machine guns in Canterbury. <laughs> He'll never get through that. His land is so good. No, oh, screw off. I'm not going to raise his cap odds even more. It's crazy. Well, you are set to be a Hammer City. I might as well put Heroic Epic here. I can make some workshops or something. No, can't afford a war. They won't really be good until I get chemistry and 
guilds though because I am not in the right civics to take full advantage of workshops by any stretch. But there's still a good deal in your Hammer City. And um yeah, you you make workshops. You're going to be my only guy to do it. All right. Well, I'm just going to control click all my cities and I uh, can't build them in London, but every other city that can. Oh, I got Oh, I know that's not the levy tech yet. When I get to the technology to build levies, I will be doing that without much hesitation. And I'm not sure I'm going to use a uh, great merchant on Sid Sushi now. It depends how well Bismarck does at war. We shall see. Well, Alright viewers, I'm going to stop the video a little short here because I have some family who just got in and I want to spend some time with them. But I will see you in the next part. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Me and team signing off.